Hey, how you doing guys? This is Little Powerhouse 102. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing all right. Yeah, guys, Um, just wanted to share a little video with you guys and uh, kind of rant a little bit right here with the, with the toys and uh, what we're getting new. You know, things you, uh, you, you probably guys already know, but I just wanted to share with you guys um, and uh, yeah, and talk about the toys a little bit. Origins, of course, what's coming out, Turtles, Turtles of Grayskull. Um, wanted to share with you guys what I've, um, what I've been up to, what I've been doing. And um, in my last video, one of my last videos, I, I did the uh, the Cyclone um, kind of review. It was, um, it was kind of like a disaster, but, you know, we got him to work. He works fine. Um, so he's up there flying. And... Um, Kind of protecting Castle Grayskull on the back, and our new figure uh, that we got in the collection is uh, Turtles of Grayskull, and um, I took him out of the package already. As you can see he's right there, displayed right there next to uh, both of these cranks, and um, I wanted to share with you guys, as you can see, um, Andre the Giant there with the um, middle piece of Krang. He really looks good. I think uh, Home Arcade uh, came up with that idea, and and he does really look good. So, uh, yeah, the parts really, really, uh, really uh, fit in, in all these figures. And uh, yeah, I think uh, kind of. I don't think he's an evil warrior, but uh, we'll consider him as an evil warrior right now, just for being a giant. <laughs> and um, here's a box for Shredder. Um, Evo Master of Ninjutsu. <laughs> and, uh, here's the back of the card. Uh, probably you guys seen that already. There we got Shredder battling out with, uh, the Turtles, uh, Master. Because all Shredder wanted to do was eliminate the Turtles once and for all. Unfortunately, Krang's plan to harness the most powerful force in the universe backfired and flung them to planet Eternia where Shredder encounters an interesting new ally which is as you know Skeletor is right there next to uh, Shredder and uh, here's his comic book right here there's, let's check it out for a little bit um, and see what he got here. So here we got uh, the front of the comic right there. Got Skeletor there with different um, armor. Really looks badass. Sorry about that, guys. You see that there? There's the comic right there. And let's turn the page. Like I said, you guys probably already seen this already, but there's He-Man turned into an abomination. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of read. This is one of the longest uh, comics that we've gotten, I believe. The Master Universe and Turtle of Grayskull. It's all the same. All the same. And here's the back of the comic. Got various figures that are, that are coming out. Or they're already out. But I don't even know guys no more what's going on. <laughs> um, let's take the box out of the way. So as you can see we got Shredder here. He looks really cool. The armor on this guy is really, really awesome. They really put a lot of detail into these guys. Mattel is really, really um, trying really hard to sell this line. And, you know, I don't blame him. I mean, he got the Hordak feet. He got his gauntlets on the side, on his shoulders. The cool mask. And there he has his, uh, his, uh, 
emblem in the in his chest right there. Really, really cool. Like I said, he has the Hordak feet. So I don't know what's gonna what's going on there. If this guy's gonna be affiliated with Hordak or more with Skeletor, we don't know yet what's gonna happen. And uh, as you can see here, really poses really nice. I mean, there's so, so much stories we could do now with this uh, Turtles of Grayskull. There's just so, so many possibilities. And uh, we just don't know what, what we're going to get now. Let me see if we could get this guy to stand. I'm telling you, it's hard to get these guys to stand. I don't know why. We got a uh, ninja right there going up against uh, Shredder. I mean, like I said, there's so, so much you can do with these uh, action figures now. Really looks good, huh? But Slamurai kind of convinced his counterpart to help him because this guy is really powerful. And it's all about survival. Let me get this guy there. Oh, man. Come on, dudes. I think he's gonna fall. <laughs> but we'll give it a try. Look at that guy. Really looks good, huh? All the stuff you could do. Like I said, guys, we're going to rant here. We're going to share the toys. We're going to talk about it. We're going to check them out. Yeah. So there we got Ninjor and Slamurai going up against Shredder. I don't know. Shredder's a really tough guy. He really, he even kicked Batman's ass. So, so he's kind of a force to reckon with. <laughs> Let's uh, turn down the music and... Uh, Pause it a little, a little bit. So here's Shredder. I'm going to take these guys out of the picture. And we're going to see if we can form a little scenery here. So here's Shredder again. You guys can check him out. Really cool stuff. Like I said, I am very, um, I was very hesitant hesitant about this line i don't know if i was gonna collect it i didn't i really didn't know guys um but um as time went on we've seen the reviews i am gonna buy a little bit more of these figures and i got some ideas um i'm gonna share it with you guys right here in the in the channel i did um was able to order a few more figures and um we are gonna do a few more uh videos so we could uh talk about the toys yeah but I did wanted to share with you guys um, Andre Andre the Giant with uh, with that middle piece that he's that um, Krang uh, kind of lent him, <laughs> and um, he looks pretty good. He looks really really good. Yeah, I I'm gonna use um, Andre the Giant as a um, as a bad guy just because he's a giant. And um, I don't want to use these giants as uh, our official giants for Origins. No, these are just going to be evil guys. Because I got a feeling that we are going to get those giants in the long run. Yeah. So there we got Shredder. Really, really cool. Going to give it a little circle here. So you can check them out from the back. There we got Cyclone up there.
And talking about the toys, guys. I mean, I know there's reviews out there with uh, newer toys, newer action figures. But, uh, I, mean, if, I mean, you can't put them in the collection. You can, but it's going to cost you a pretty penny to put um, the new stuff in the collection. I've done that before, and it, and it gets expensive, guys. It really does. So what are we gonna do here? Let's uh, take this guy out of the picture for a little bit. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna knock these guys down. All right, we'll get, put this guy over here. You gonna form a little bit of a, uh, of um, what you call it? Let's put it right here. Let's see. We could put something together here. All right. That there. Put a, a crane here. Kind of in front of him. Doesn't really mess up his, uh, his look. Because... And we'll have Mr. Shredder over here for a little bit. Want to put the giant in here. All right. I'm going to do like a little action scenery. Let's turn this around. I'm going to move some stuff around here. Have all these bad guys kind of plot their their evilness. All right, forming an alliance there: Skeletor, Shredder, and Hordak. So it's really looking good. Mister. Bam. What else can we put there, guys? We got a few figures hanging around. All right. We're going to be kind of weird with this stuff, but... Let's see if we could put... We got Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> like I said, all these figures look good, guys. I mean, does, you, nothing is wrong what you do in your collection. It's just what you want to see or what you want to do. Here we got a custom uh, matted arms. You think he looks great. So we're forming a little scenery here. little battle scenery. Everybody against all these giants. Because you know these giants are really tough. Because after you defeat that, you're going to have to deal with these three guys. So that's really a battle there too think about <laughs> who else could we put there i think we could put well i actually have some figures laying around how about we put um mr um see if we could put him on here We could put 
make a little action scenery here. Really, really hard. This, <laughs> these figures sometimes. Let's see if uh, King Grace Cup doesn't fall. This cape more or less gives them a Get him to stand. Come on, King Grayskull. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. All right. Whoa. <laughs> we'll get him to stand right now, guys. Gotta make this this little thing look pretty awesome. Let's turn it around. Let's pick up the pieces here. <laughs> Let's see if we can get Matt and Arms to stand up again. Bear with me, guys. Right now, we're going to put this guy up here. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can get somebody else up here. Yeah. <laughs> Just turn the turntable nice and easy so we don't drop anybody. Because these guys are really hard to position sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Really looks good, huh? But it's getting crowded up here. I really like the background for Castle Grayskull. You got over there, um, what's his name? Cyclone. Really cool. So who's going to go up against Mr. Uh, Andre the Giant? Bam. There we go. Thunder Punch He-Man. Yeah. Why not? Put his friend right here. Koldar. And here we have Duplico. Yeah. I think Koldar's going to chop Duplico's head right there. <laughs> there you go, guys. There's a, we have a little battle scene going on here with these giants. Here we got Hordak and he has his, uh, his henchman right there. Grizzlor going up against, uh, Mossman there. So yeah, guys, I mean, these figures, they all really look good together. I mean, Mattel knows what they're doing. Um, like I said, look at the parts. They all really, really are compatible with um, everything you do it's just just amazing stuff that we've been getting and um, like I said I, I'm kind of cherry-picking everything that I'm that I'm buying and um, really amazing stuff guys yeah. 
take this off doesn't really make sense <clears throat> so we're going to turn it around so you guys could check out the battle scene here the main thing here guys i wanted to share with you guys uh andre the giant if you guys have an andre the giant you could buy an extra crank i know he's kind of expensive but you know it's worth it when when you have them all put together here and um and i know that it's kind of frustrating for me too guys believe me for me too um i've been uh you know hunting uh, some figures down and i've been getting not very lucky guys so i bought some figures i, I bought slacker in ebay and I bought who else? That reptile guy um, from the Snake Men. Reptile, I think that's his name. And um, and this extra crank that you see here. Um, so you buy, you, you would buy two figures, and they would give you the third one for half off. But those other two figures, Slacker and Reptile, are not are not out yet. I know the reviews are out there already for some reviewers that did the review already of those figures, but. I bet they paid a, a pretty penny on that. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I mean, that's cool. I used to do that um, when I was um, collecting a lot of ways for the Origins line. <clears throat> I was uh, <clears throat> spending a little bit more money to get the figures a little bit sooner so I could show them in the, in the channel. And um, But I'm not doing that now. Because I was kind of like on the fence with the uh, with these figures, yeah. <clears throat> I was I, I was still deciding if I was gonna buy this uh, Turtles of Grayskull figures, and um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm still gonna cherry pick them. <clears throat> I'm not gonna buy everything, and. Um, some of them really, really look good. <clears throat> and um, there's a lot of stuff coming out. I'm very uh, excited for... Uh, I kind of like the Skeletor that came out with the Stranger Things figures. Um, he has a nice blue wash on his, uh, on his body. I think they did a very good uh, job on that. <clears throat> And um, I want to get that Skeletor. He, he kind of looks good. I just don't like the head scalp. I'm just going to change the head scalp on that Skeletor. But I like the color of the body, though. And the Stranger Things figure, well, that's kind of strange. Well, we we could put him, like, in a action scenery like this, and, he, and he'll look good, too. Yeah, guys, um... I hope you guys are enjoying um, all the other reviews that were um, that we're getting all these uh, these new figures. I know uh, the man child; um, he's one of them that he gets everything really, really soon. <clears throat> but you know that that he's spending that pretty penny to get those those figures in his collection sooner, so he could do those um, you know those reviews, and um, that's pretty cool. I mean, if he could do that, that's cool. But me, I'm just gonna wait. And I'm gonna see the reviews, and I'm gonna see which ones, which ones I want to add to the collection. Um, a lot of the origin figures are not gonna come out like we used to. Like we get, we're, we're getting four figures per wave. It's not gonna happen anymore. So, so that we're not gonna do that no more. <laughs> but we are gonna do videos and share the toys and um, and just enjoy the the moment here. And uh, probably do some uh, diorama uh, videos with some music and 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 look at all these figures, you know, with, in all their glory. <clears throat> but like I said, guys, I did order some Powers um, Turtles of Grayskull figures. I am I'm waiting for some in the mail. Um, Slacker and. Um, the reptile guy, that those guys are for on pre-order, but I think I'm gonna get them a little bit sooner with those uh, vendors that I bought them from, and um, I was able to buy uh, what's that turtle guy's name, Leonardo, and I got Donatello, and 
and I did buy a vehicle. I'm going to share that vehicle with you guys with some origin figures and the turtles. Um, I think that's going to look pretty, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool to see that, guys. There's a lot of stuff you could do with these uh, action figures now. With these lines. I'm not surprised if they start mixing it in with uh, Ghostbusters and Batman and all that stuff. Because Masters Universe is, is spreading out in a crazy way. So you just never, never know what we're going to get now. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Really, really cool stuff. Who will have the power? All right, guys, so that's pretty what I wanted to share with you guys. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, little review, you could say, and a little rant here <laughs> about this, about these figures, these lines. Um, there's always, um, there's always will be complaints and how we're getting the figures. It's just sometimes frustrating, I know, but we're tired of talking about that and we know the situation so so yeah guys uh, I guess the only thing I could say now is uh when you get your figures enjoy them and do whatever you want to do like right now we did a battle scene here really cool um, put them in your diorama in your shelves whatever but the thing is to enjoy these figures just wait for them when you get them you get them and when you get them in your collection, enjoy them. Yeah. Um, I'm not trying to get them first anymore. I'm not trying to get them sooner anymore. I'm just trying to put them in the collection. And when I get them, I'm going to share it with you guys. And um, I think it's pretty awesome to to uh, see this. Uh, all these figures all mixed up. And, um, and they look really, really good. Yeah. Let's give it a little turn one more time. And uh, like I said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video here. Kind of went long, but it's worth it to talk about our toys. Because Origins has come a long way. And it, Origins will be here for the long run. Yeah, with different figures, but we will, we will be able to complete our collections. Our Origins collection. Watch, guys. Just love it, guys. So there you have it, guys. Masters of the Universe. That's all I can say for all these lines. All right, guys. This is Little Powerhouse 102. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'm out. <laughs>